Hello, and, uh, and today, once again, another Scion XB. I guess you can call me the Scion XB expert by now, but oh, don't worry, I'll be bringing in another videos. But today's agenda is a radiator, and yes, it is a 2013 Scion XB. So let's look and see how we're going to do this. So the first thing you want to do is obviously, you're going to want to make sure it's your radiator that it is leaking, obviously. Once you confirm that, go ahead and take your radiator cap off. And then what you're going to do is underneath the car on the driver side bottom of the radiator, there's a little um, like wing nut type of thing. It's for the drain plug for the radiator. It's just a little plastic. It should be a should be able to loosen it by hand. If not, use some pliers, loosen it, drain all the coolant out. Next thing you want to do is you want to start taking all this off. So what we're going to start out with probably right now will be this panel right here. And then we'll keep on going. Okay. Now go ahead and move this little, little piece of the grill, whatever you want to call it. I guess it is a grill, this little piece right here. So go ahead and remove this now. Okay, so you got that out now. Now we can get the radiator out because there's going to be a bracket here. Anyways, well, this is where it goes. And also the connectors where the clone fans are right behind it. So do that now. And you can see that you have really easy clear access to the connectors. You won't be able to pull it out without taking these off and the battery will be in the way. So after you got your battery out of the way, get this guy out of here. Pull your hood prop, hood pop, whatever. So now what we can do is probably what I would do at this point is go ahead and take it off from here to your engine block. Then we or not that just the coolant hose that goes to the block. After you take that one off. Um, you can take off this top one to the reservoir. Um, just keep working this one off. It's kind of hard, but just take your time. Don't rip it. Uh, this one is like on plastic. Anything on plastic shouldn't be that hard. You just have to kind of twist. Things on metal can sometimes stick even more. I'm not saying that it won't. Get, it can kind of get stuck on here, but more than likely, because it's plastic, you just have to twist it with something. Um, if you have your original T it will most likely break i mean they are so brittle and sensitive the original ones that come with the car that one time i think i was putting on a bolt for the engine cover and i was going and i dropped it and it fell and from that it broke and i'm not even lying so if you have this original piece it's probably gonna break no matter what unless you're super super careful and um Hopefully you don't have to mess with it. But if it happens to break, don't feel bad. Just get yourself a T-fitting like this. Um, as long as it's basically able to fit. Um, you can use brass as well, whatever you can find that's a T-fitting. So it's two sides and the bottom, it's a T, literally. And you can just use that. So if, you, if that happens to break, don't feel bad. So anyways, continue on with this uh, radiator. We took that hose off. You take the hose off for the reservoir. So now, what you could do is take the training cooler lines off and know of which one goes where because you're going to have to put them back. You can't put them in the wrong spot. Just go ahead and take these off. Mark it, mark one if you have to, you know, whatever you need to do to put them in the right spot. Just make sure they go on the same way. Just take those off. So now that you got your train of coil lines off, you can basically start working on this uh, radiator support, top radiator, whatever you want to call it. But what we're going to do is disconnect your horn. You have two of them. Take that off, boom. Boom, it's just a little connector on the side. Don't rip it. Anything you break, you have to fix. If you want to be good, and you happen to break some stuff happens, but it's best if you just fix it. Um, but anyways, that's up to you. But 
take the horns off the connector for it. Once you do that, you can start taking the the um, the bolts for the support. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And then this thing, you have to kind of put this way and pull it out. All right. So now it's looking pretty better. It's almost out. Right now we should do our connectors. Two of them. One here, one down there. After you get those connectors off, take this hose off, but I would take it off from over there. Just good practice. I mean, this radar is busted anyways, but I'll probably just do it over there anyways. Because when you get the other radar, yours should be new, but using a used one, you don't want to risk breaking it right here. So take it off from over here. After you get those connectors off. And, I mean, you could take it off from right here, because then when you get the other radar on, you can just slide it on there, it's not a big deal. Whichever way you do it. No, but I'm gonna do it this way. So now what I would do is take off the hose that's down there, it goes to the thermostat. After you take that hose off, take the two bolts off, one here, and one here. Then you can take off this piece that holds the condenser and radiator together. So after you got the hose up, there's one little temp sensor down here. Don't forget that. And now you can pull your radiator out. And uh, make sure to take the condenser off. There's little uh, holes here that the, has tabs on the bottom. So just pull it out. And then pull your radiator out. And make sure it clears everything on the way up and also on the way down. But it's ready to come out. That's all it is. That's out. Yeah, good job. And you are gonna have to swap over the pulling fans. So I have it put it up on the table or something. And what you're gonna run into is these pulling lines. I'm not gonna let the fans come off. So what you do is take it off from here here you gotta move and also this right here and you can take them off but um, I would do that first and then there's just two cans underneath and take your cooling fans off it and then swap it onto your other radiator so here's the ultimate almost ultimate finished product as far as removal Obviously, you're going to have to put your hoses over. So what I would do is put the other radiator the same way so that everything lines up. So that this should be in the point wherever you have it. And then swap your hoses over. And just put it on the same way. So do you see how... Because if you turn it too far the one certain way, it's not going to line up. So literally all you would do is literally just move it over. And it's easy. So you have to swap that over, as well as this other hose right here. And also, the cooling lines, because it connects to the radiator right there. So I would probably take them off from right there. So take off that hose, this hose, Take the cooler lines off from here and here and just swap everything over. Now you got everything swapped over, just go ahead and throw it in there the same way. So we'll put it in there and I'll walk you through the installation real quick. So once you got your radio up in there and all your lines swapped over, put this line on. Then put your reservoir lines on, pop them on, and then this hose. So, lower thermostat hose or thermostat hose. Reservoir hose is the bottom and top one. Then this one. Then this is for the install. Don't forget your training clear lines. Put them on the same 
same line that how it came off. Don't get them mixed up. So now that we got all our hoses on there, double check, make sure you got every single hose on there. Because at this point, I'm going to start filling it up. That way, if it starts to leak right now, I already have it open. But if you already filled it up, then it's good. Then get your connectors on and get them the piece that go, puts these together. And after that, you can put your battery since you got your connectors on, right? And then the very last grill pieces and the battery terminals, and that's it. It's all we install ready here. So after you got your connections on, and then you got the piece that holds the radiator connection together, and then you got this thing on, um, right now would be a good time to probably put your hood top on there before you forget that. And then don't forget your horns. And then everything else is pretty much easy, just a little grill. Then the little panel piece, so grill, then panel, and then your battery. Then you're going to want to fill it, if you already haven't filled your coin up, fill it up. Turn the car on, run it with the cap off until you start to get uh, warm air in the cab. Does that mean the thermostat's open? I'll let it run for a little bit, maybe a good couple of minutes, shut it off for a couple minutes, see if the coolant goes down or not, and that's it. That completes our how to radiator in this sign and I did make a mistake uh, according to this hood it's 2015 but I'm sure it will work if you have the same model and year and stuff so that's how you do a radiator in the Scion XP.